Hi everyone, I'm Yanni from OKX Wallet team. Today I will share two open source library, which is uh, Sweet Hook and the Impression Kit. Let's start. So what's Hook? It means do some extra logic before or after executing the function, even completely modify the original logic without touching the source code of the function. Swift Hook is a library to help uh, hook methods in Swift and Objective-C. It makes aspect-oriented programming easier. So here, I will show you a demo. Here, we have a, a class named test object. It has a method named test method with two key words here. One is at OBGC. It to make this method accessible from Objective-C. And the dynamic tells Swift to always refer to Object-C dynamic dispatch. So here, we create an object and do the hook things. First, we tell the API which object, which object we want to hook and which function, which method we want to hook. So this is a hook closure. You, you will see it's not a normal Swift closure. It actually is an Object-C block. We use this at convention block to de declare a Swift closure as an Object-C block. So the first parameter is actually another closure, which, is, which means uh, original method closure. We will, call, we will call this closure, and we will call to the original method. The last parameter is uh, object instance, which is this one, yeah. The third method is test method uh, selector. So here, we call the test method of this object. So let's run this test case. Firstly, it will run into our hook loader. So you can do anything you want before executing the test method. And uh, you can run the original method here by this code and do what, I, what you want after executing the test method. Let's continue. Here, we run the original method. Now we return ABC as a result. Let's continue. In the hook closure, we got the original result as ABC. Now we change the result from ABC to 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Let's continue. We will see here, the final result, we, we did it, we hook it. It changed from ABC to 1, 2, 3. Yeah. That's, that's how it works. So uh, basically, this hook only affects the uh, uh, specific uh, object, which is this one. You also can hook for uh, all instances of a class, use this API. So which class do you want to hook? Which test method? Which method do you want to um, hook? So this is actually same as uh, method swizzling. Yeah. You can also hook. Uh, a class function, a class method, or a static method. Yeah. Let's go back. How does Swift work? So first, at runtime, create a subclass based on the class of the object. Uh, dynamically create an AMP. Actually, it's a pointer to the function of a method implementation. Third, we add a new method with the selector and the AMP to the class then set the new class to the project. So this technique is called is the swizzling, which is used by Apple to implement KVO. This graph shows uh, how, it wor uh, how, how it work. So normally we call a uh, method here. It will call the MP directly. Then if we do the hook things, first we create a new class then, uh, dynamically, which is dynamic underscore test object, and uh, it has a method. The selector is the same as the super one, and it has a, a hook logic, which is the NP. In this hook logic, we call the hook closer. Hook closer is actually is your code. You can uh, decide to uh, call the original logic in your code. So the key point is how to call an NP dynamically and how to create an NP dynamically. Here, I use the 
library named libffi foreign function interface. When you call a standard C uh, function, actually you need to follow some rules. So where to put the parameters and where to get the result. So different architecture has different rules. So this rule is called uh, calling convention, also called uh, application binary interface, ABI. So libffi help us to manage this, these things. We just tell libffi uh, which function do you want to call and uh, what's the type of the parameters and uh, which the, what's the type of the, uh, for the result. Then libffi help us to do the following things. Yeah. How to create an MP dynamically? We also use libffi. It provides a way to write a general function. So this technique is called trampling. So for trampling, it's a uh, big and uh, complicated topic, topic. I will not share it here. Uh, feel free to go Google it if you want to know how it works. So let's talk about some user scenario of three hook. You can hook a view did appear for UI view controller to record user's path, understand which pages user has been to. You also can hook view will appear and view did appear for UI view controller to calculate open speed to, to know, oh, this page is performance good or not. You, you can also hook a, a dialog method for object or view or view controller for memory leak checking. Yeah. You can also mm, implement uh, impression event checking, which is the second topic of my sharing. Now, what's impression event? An impression event actually refers to a user actually see a piece of content rather than just uh, passing it as a glance. So analysis of impression event help us to understand our user. For example, we know how many users really see this advertisement or how many users see, see this new feature. Yeah. Uh, impression kit is a tool to detect impression event for UI view in iOS with a quite simple API. For example, here you have a view and call this API detect impression. When the impression event triggered, you will get the callback here. Let's say a demo. Here has a score view. When the color changed to, from red to green, it means the impression event be triggered. So let's say if I score very fast. So this case, user may not see any, really see any views, so there's no impression event. When I stop here for a while, so this means user had time to focus on any views, so the impression event will be triggered. Yeah, this is how it looks like. So how does impression kit work? So firstly, we convert the views frame to those in the root window, check the frame is on screen or not. Then we start a timer to do the step one periodically. Then we know how long the uh, views in the screen. Third, we hook the date move to window uh, with three hook. Stop the, win stop the timer when the window becomes new to save performance. Because uh, in the step one, we need to call some API of uh, UIKit. So we have to do it in main thread. So we have to do the step three to stop the timer in some cases to save performance. Yeah, that's it, that's it for my sharing. And uh, feel free to scan this QR code to get the GitHub links. Uh, and uh, thank you everyone for listening. Uh, have a good day. Yeah.